Welcome to another tutorial on Google Meet. Lately, we all have been taking online classes via various tools at our disposal. One of them is Google Meet. One of the major challenges faced during these online classes is attendance management. How do you take an attendance of who joined and who left and when did they join and when did they leave? We will see about a Google Chrome extension that will help us solve this issue. Let's begin. The extension that we will be looking today is aptly named Meet Attendance. You can simply Google it and it will be the first result. I will also leave a link below in the description. The point to be noted is that this is an exclusive Chrome Web Store extension. You cannot use it in your Firefox, Brave or Safari browser if you are using that. For this to you to be used in your Google Meet and to take attendance records, you have to use Google Chrome browser only. Going to the extension and adding it, which I've already done over here, let's head on to a Meet call that is already set up. All right, here we have a few kids already present in this Google Meet. Uh, yeah, how many are there? There are nine over here. Oh, let's arrange them a bit more properly. See, yeah, this is much better. To know more about what I did right now over here, uh, please check out another video that is linked in the cards above on the right. Now talking about your Google Meet attendance itself. Once you've added it, you'll see that it is added over here on the top right. All you have to do is click that. See, you have it's installed properly. Yes, it's installed properly. Now going to the people tab. Usually you would get a people that will be a list of people that are attending in this meeting or present currently present in the meeting. And then you'll have a chat window wherein you can see or uh, everyone is chatting with each other. Right now, no one is chatting with anyone. But after adding this add-on, another thing is added over here, this checkbox, right? So right now it's showing the checkbox with 10 people present over there. And once you hover your mouse over it, you have four options. Two are Excel-like buttons and two are sliders. We'll see about all of them. By clicking on this button over here on the second Excel button, you will be creating a new Google Doc sheet wherein the record of the attendance of this current meeting will be put. This right sheet, right button over here is to create a new document. If you wish to add a new sheet within the same document, you, you can press this button which will add a sheet to that document. If you want to record the attendance, all you have to do is slide this but slide the slider. Right now it's recording attendance, slide it off and slide it on again. Means at that very point of time, whatever be the number of people present or whatever their names be present in the meeting, that will be recorded in an Excel sheet. Now, how do you go about viewing that Excel sheet? That Excel sheet or other a Google Doc sheet will be present by default in your Google Drive. You don't have to go around searching for it. All you have to do is just press on this button over here. Yes, even this is a button. The one which is present between people and chat, which shows the number of participants right now. Once you press on that, this will open up the sheet where the attendance was recorded and will open up for you in a new tab. The, fi the file name uh, naming convention would be meet attendance, year, month, date, hours and minutes. Right? So, on 5th of May 2020 at 11.15, 11.13 p.m. on a meet with this so-and-so ID, these many people were found to be present. Now, if you want to take attendance again, let's say after 30 minutes into the lecture, all you have to do is just go over there, slide this off, slide this thing off and turn it on again. And once you go back again to the same sheet, you will see another entry in another column of a different time when you press that slider on and on again, on and off again. Right? This way you can take attendance at multiple time slots during your whole lecture, which may be of 10 minutes to one hour. If you want to take attendance every 10 minutes, all you have to do is while you're presenting your presentation to your students, all you have to do is turn off this slider and on. Right? On every different day, you, all you have to do is 
just click on this create a new sheet button turn the slider off and back on again and that's it that's how you take attendance in google meet thank you